All right, you're looking at a young man who beat COVID, but maybe not in the way you may be thinking. His back was up against the wall in terms of accomplishing a life goal when COVID just threw a wrench in the works. Paula Tutman joins us in Troy this afternoon. And Paula, this is all about reaching the rank of Eagle Scout, which is no easy task under the best circumstances. Absolutely not. First of all, it's a high honor. It's very, very challenging to get, but the COVID lockdown threw some additional challenges to this young man, but he essentially said, oh, no, no, COVID, not today. You don't get to win this one. The walking trail at Huber Park near the Aquatic Center in Troy looks amazing, but that wasn't always the case. People who actually go back there and use the trail, they say, I don't like this. The trail's in bad condition or the city needs to do something about this. But all this time has passed and the city didn't do anything. Community members have worked hard to reclaim it from the woods, brush, buckthorn and debris. And one of those people is 16 year old Rhett Warner. As a kid, I would come here a lot like I'd walk through this trail. Rhett decided to do something about it while also going after his Eagle Scout rank. I thought this is my chance. I want to do something for this park that served me so well as a kid. But COVID had other plans. He had his goal, he had his plan, he had the sign off, you know, by the city. Um, they, they said, you know, go ahead and do this. And he was excited to do it. And he, and he kind of started to ramp up and then COVID came. The thing is, Rhett needed to complete his project before reaching age 18 in order to reach this highest rank in scouting. There was a lot of work to be done. There was no room to wait. The moment the world started opening back up, Rhett got to work, bottle drives, fundraisers, and good old fashioned hard work. Fine. Did you do this? Did you put this here? Yeah. There was 30 to 40 people each workday coming in the woods and just bringing in the equipment, hauling heavy lumber, uh, clearing brush, really tough work. The city of Troy is so appreciative of his passion and the 13 out of 18 stations that have gotten rehabbed. We have almost 900 acres of parkland and and we still struggle with trying to maintain that parkland. This is a very old um, trail system here and we had some old infrastructure. It was dilapidated. It needed to be updated. We had exercising stations throughout that didn't weren't properly marked. People didn't know how to use them and Rhett came in and really provided the opportunity where people can enjoy the park that much more. This is a young man who has battled so much in his life on the autism spectrum, but he's managed to be the victor and get that much closer to Eagle Scout by beating COVID, not the virus, the deadline. And it was a very passion related project to me, something that meant a lot to me. Yeah, so this is just some of his handiwork. And, and again, I mean, this, this is just such a huge deal for this young man. So many of us have had challenges through COVID. They're all different, but it's how he handled this and just kind of navigated through. So he's almost done tying up loose ends, still has to sit before the board before he gets his rank. But yay, Rhett and Karen, little known factoid, my photographer partner, Justin DePreckle, is an Eagle Scout. Wow. And so how great for him to shoot them, right? Well, how great for him to shoot this story today. Oh, I love the story. What great passion for that young man. We appreciate you sharing that with us. Thank you, Paula.